Hi, Mini Kit Monday friends. So for my first layout of the month, I'm using these great pages by, or papers by Cartabella. I also have this full size sticker sheet, have not touched it yet. And I have, I think a partial pack of the breads. I think it's partial, I'm not quite sure. I have this many breads that go with the same Cartabella set. So I know that's in my page kit. I've already made my title out of my two alphas that I have in my page kit. And you know, oh, and I also have my gold mist. So I'm gonna start creating and take you along with me. So I know that I want to use this really cute blue uh, pattern paper with all the, the faces on it for my background, but I also know that it's kind of too much. So I want to cover some of it off while still getting that border that you see around the outside of the paper. So I'm gonna use this really nice bricky kind of red paper to block that out a little bit. And that's also the side that I'll end up putting my photo on. All right, so this is really going to come together quickly, part, partly because I have such bold pattern papers. Now, I do love that this photo is so incredibly spot on for the, um, the main pattern paper, which is awesome. But I'm also gonna bring in some of this really nice blue starburst and it's gonna add you know, just that great contrast that we need. And also, I did tell you that I was going to use this um, the main picture of my daughter on the side of it, you know, because she's mine and then it'll end up being a repeat photo. I am matting this uh, photo of the 16 pictures in the grid on the red as well. And it's giving me just that right amount of contrast. I was really excited with that. And then the photo of my daughter, I'm gonna do just on the back side of this paper that looks kind of like, okay, I'm doing it on the red, I'm sorry. I'm gonna do it on the red as well. It's giving me a nice contrast, but I also really love this paper right here that kind of looks like, you know, like how um, negatives used to come in these cute little frames. I actually have some of those downstairs in my scrap room. Anyway, so I'm giving it just a little bit of a special treatment as it's uh, the, the photo that's getting a little extra recognition and and it's going to end up popping off the page nicely now i am using the two fonts of um thickers and i love when i can do that they're both gold but one is just metallic and one is glittery so it's going to give me a nice a nice bit of interest on the page and i'll be putting that title on the left hand side and i really am enjoying that all righty so i i'm sorry about that little glare on the photo i was scrapping in my daughter's room so i have kind of a a light source situation i'm not used to but what i'm doing on the left hand side is i'm putting that uh multi-font title in that i discussed with you and i'm using the white line in in that printed paper to uh, to start my title and I'm, I'm kind of digging that I love when you have a grid or something that's nice and clean and easy to use because I'm pretty slow with my titles now both of these titles are foam based so I don't have to use any extra adhesive large sticker sheet had this really great set of banners on it and I'd say nine times out of ten if the sticker sheets come with a banner I do end up using them I went ahead and used some of these little foam square things that I'm using up to pop each of them up because as things go my layout at this point is pretty darn flat and as i mean and it really does remain pretty flat i use mostly the uh items that were just in this cute little mini page kit and i tried to build it out as much as i can using just that kit i thought it was a little bit more fun doing it that way and I believe next week's layout as well, we'll be using this same collection. I just need to bring in a little bit more of the um, papers from the kit. And yeah, I'll show you what I do when I go along with that. Anywho, back to this here layout. I also did pop up that three by four photo, three by four, three by four ish photo of my daughter that's on the left side there. I'm just a little bit of fun foam and I use the fun foam that has the adhesive on one side because I like when some of the work is just kind of done for me. I like that. 
But I would have to say, now I won't be scrapbooking much more in my daughter's room. I was only able to use it for a couple of days. I did like the setup she has in there. She has a really nice sized desk in her room. And she had a lamp on there, so I just had to bring one of my small outlights with me. And I did like it. I didn't have to be too precious about her desk or anything like that. So I think it worked out nicely. But alas, I will be moving on again. We are still in social distancing until at least May 15th in my state. I'm sure it'll get extended after that. It keeps getting extended, and that's fine. But I will just nomadically be scrapbooking. I need to find a way to be able to do it outside. That's my next goal. You can see that I went ahead on that sticker sheet and tried to pull off any of the stickers that I was kind of feeling would work with this layout. I like to shrink my supplies down even more when I'm creating if I can. And it allows me to, I, get, I don't know, get rid of a lot of the visual clutter, if, if that makes sense. Now, I do have OUVB, which stands for Oakland University Volleyball. I wanted to get those letters on as well as the date, which is April 2020, when these photos were taken and they were put up on Instagram. That's where I grabbed that, uh, that picture with the 16 little photos and, and it printed out pretty nicely. So I was happy with that. And then my daughter uh, gave me the larger photo of her that she had to send in so kind of a cool like like public announcement kind of thing that the team did and they're trying to do whatever they can to stay together as a team having zoom meetings and all that kind of stuff you know kind of like the rest of the world is doing as well but I mean how timely was this pattern paper I literally got this kit um from scrap room within a couple of days of seeing this picture and I was, I got, you know, excited. You know how we get so excited. Anywho, now I'm going to start putting some of these little, um, what do you call them? Like the balloon thingies, speech bubbles. Yes. I'm going to start popping them around and it's going to add some of the fun and whimsical feel to this layout. And I really like, it. and I also will go ahead and five arrows I'll pop them on top of the speech bubbles and and tiny words and all that kind of stuff just to build it out and create interest here you can see I have most of my little speech bubbles down now for the best family sticker I'm gonna add just a little foam behind that the team is definitely a family so I thought that worked out ever so nicely for this layout so aside from that I wanted to let you know that I have the links down below for the mini kit Monday ladies crafters creators whatever you want to call all of us our design team we have a blast we also have been lucky enough to have two guest designers along the way for every month this year so we've all been having a lot of fun together our Facebook group is a ball there are so many creative people that have come together on our group on the on the Facebook group and if you want to join in come along and yeah you can use your stash put together a kit and you can use our inspiration or just go rogue on your own and win a little prize every month. One person wins a prize a month and it's, it is quite fun. So yeah, the links will be down below. So if you have any questions, comments or anything like that from me, go ahead and leave them. I do try to get back to people within 24 hours. Sometimes it's a little longer. It's kind of a, a funky time right now to, uh, to have time to fit everything in. So go ahead and leave any questions you have. I will try to get back to you on that. And yeah, I think that's it for the housekeeping stuff. Now you see me go on the total struggle bus to get this foam down there because, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm not great with spatial awareness. Like I do better if I just put the foam on and then put the sticker on, but it was pretty attached at that point to the photo. And you know what it's like when you get a sticker on a photo, it likes to stay put where it is. So that's what was going on there. Oh, it sounds like my next door neighbor is doing something in his garage. I hear machinery, so sorry if that is loud. I'm going to sprinkle some of these enamel dots around this page. And like I said, I think this is a partial set of them by Cartabella. I'm not quite sure. Like I said, I got them in a kit and I made my kit smaller and made page kits and made a page kit out of it this month. So this is my Jen Hadfield gold, is it called shimmer? 
I'm not quite sure. But absolutely fabulous dupe if you are a lover of the Heidi Swap Color Shine in Gold. I love it. I was able to get it at the Not Just for Boys Kit Club. And I know that they've gotten it in a couple times and it sells out almost immediately. So there's a little bit more of a close-up of this one. I did absolutely love this. I wasn't sure when I first saw this collection how I was going to use it, but I thought it was spot on. So hope you like what I came up with and I will be back ever so soon with another video. Bye-bye friends.